Hi everybody, my name is Artie OG. We're here in my shop. Our website is dedicated to guys and gals who are interested in getting more involved in the exciting world of cars and motorsports. You will get practical advice and information from someone who's been working on and racing cars for over 50 years. I can help you drive your street car better or make it go faster or race wheel to wheel. We can satisfy your need for speed without breaking your bank or the law. This is a really fun car here. This is a, uh, it's called a historic or vintage NASCAR stock car. And it's a 95 Monte Carlo that was built by Hendrick Motorsports and it was used in the 1996 championship where Hendrick and Terry Labonte uh, won the championship. Uh, we raced this in an amateur racing series called the Stock Car Racing Series. This car is another fun car. It's the opposite of the stock car and it's a 1980 Mazda RX-7 and is known as a crap can racer. This is a car that races in endurance races ranging from 6 to 36 hours. The initial purchase price of these crap can racers is not supposed to be over $500. Now that doesn't include safety items, which would include the, the roll cage uh, that you can see here. Uh, safety harnesses, these are five point uh, safety harnesses. And then uh, this racing seat, and then a fire extinguisher. As you can see, you get a lot of bang for the buck out of, uh, out of these kind of cars. A lot of the information that I'm going to give you has been learned the hard way, and I mean the hard way. Uh, an example is uh, this tie-down strap. These tie-down straps are used to tie down cars either in, in an in, uh, enclosed trailer or on an open trailer. Well, there's a certain technique to using these in order to make sure the car doesn't get loose. When you tighten the, the strap up, you need to make sure that there are at least two layers of the belting around this spool or drum. If not, it'll get loose and you'll have a car that will either, either fall off the trailer or get loose inside the trailer. Now ask me how I know that. Well, I uh, just took a car, was taking a car home from having several thousand dollars worth of body work done and I didn't do that and my car got loose inside the trailer and bashed both ends of the car in. I didn't get 10 miles from the body shop. Thank you for your attention. We look forward to seeing you at the, either the racetrack or on our website please feel free to leave any comments or questions.